I love the way you insert a specific physical feature or action that they are doing. It turns me on so much. Um, yeah, I guess it has a little bit more flair. has a little bit more flair. Hello, my name is Jessica Starling. I am a cam girl, adult content creator, and porn star. Today, I will be competing against an AI. I will be getting asked questions about love, sex, and dating, and we'll see whose answers are better, mine or the computer's. Do you accept these terms and conditions for getting your ass whooped? I don't know if there's a strategy to it. I, I just think you should just be yourself. I mean, be nice, be polite, uh, ask them questions and all that but mostly just be yourself. And then also on a first date, if you're not attracted to the person or the person's not attracted to you, that's not a bad thing. It's only the first date, you know? You just don't go on a second date. <laughs> Here are a few tips for building the sexual attraction on a first date. Flirt. Flirting can be a fun and playful way to build sexual attraction. Make eye contact. Making eye contact and maintaining good eye contact throughout the date can help build sexual attraction. All right. <laughs> Our advice was actually kind of similar, so I think maybe we tied on this one. Let's see if more silicon means more intelligence. Maybe I'm just old fashioned, maybe I'm just direct, but I would just say, hey, I'm horny. <laughs> I love the way you insert a specific physical feature or action that they are doing. It turns me on so much. <laughs> um, yeah, I guess it has a little bit more flair. has a little bit more flair. It's more, more uh, of a matter of taste, I think. So I'll give it to the AI, though I do appreciate a direct approach. Your thought process is so slow. I thought I was communicating with a dial-up modem. Oh, I'm not a pit. I have no game. <laughs> I have no game. Uh, ooh, boy. I would say my age, I would say that I'm bisexual, and I'd be like, hey, I do porn. You know, I just wanna, first thing, hey, what's up, I do porn. <laughs> Hi, I love your profile picture. Do you mind if I ask where it was taken? I am always looking for new places to explore. That sounds super creepy because I feel like most people just take selfies in their home. I mean, where is that taken? I don't know, my room? <laughs> I'm looking to explore. <laughs> Can I explore your room? <laughs> like, <laughs> I definitely won that round. That was weird and creepy. <laughs> I won't even need a software upgrade to beat you. Um, I think, I think bone structure is really sexy. So if someone has like a nice skull, <laughs> I don't know how to say this, like cheekbones, uh, a jaw, so like this, something less weird and creepy and like I wanna wear your skin is like maybe eyes. I think eyes are very sexy, you know? It's important to remember that everyone has different preferences and what one person finds sexy may not be the same for another. It's best to respect others' boundaries and to not make assumptions about what they find attractive. It's also important to remember that all body parts can be sexy and attractive and that everyone's body is unique and deserves respect and appreciation. You know what? I like that. That was wholesome. I just gave my personal opinion, but also that's right. That's totally right. So I think the AI won that one. That was wholesome. I liked that. <laughs> I am the future. You are now the past. So I think the only way to get a threesome with the person you're dating and their friend Firstly, ask the person you're dating how they feel about that, if they're comfortable with that. They might not be even comfortable with that. So once you have that conversation with the person you're dating, you have to would like speak to that person's friend. Uh, maybe not in person, because I feel like that might be too much pressure. Maybe on like a FaceTime call. <laughs> and then talk about it like openly and be like, hey, 
I like I hope this isn't crossing any boundaries. We don't want this to be awkward, but we were thinking of like including you in our sex life and think we think that would be really awesome and fun and hot if we were all to have a threesome. How do you feel about that? So something something like that, I think. Communicate openly. Make sure to have an open and honest conversation about your desires and boundaries, as well as the desires and boundaries of your partner and their friend. I mean, that's good. That's, I feel like that was, was the gist of what I was saying. I was specific. I gave the roadmap of how to do it, so I think I won that round. Oh, that's interesting. Okay, maybe we're on the same level. Well, it's a tie, but... Thank you all so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye bye.